official player, part of Damani, one third of the group, Western Union. You on G14, you freestyle 101. And right now, I'm about to go in the booth and just tear it down. You know what I'm saying? Call the fire marshal, call the whoever you need to call, because it's about to be a problem. Come on. I mean, it's only right. The G4 freestyle, let me bring you the best rappers, MCs, however you want to call it. But check this out. Before I start, I just want to tell y'all a quick little story. It's like, I'm like, I'm about the house, right? I'm playing like my Nintendo Wii, right? So the chick, like, Nintendo Wii, what's that? I'm like, yo, it's a game. You know what she told me she thought it was? She thought it was a French Nintendo. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, I was out before I was out. Uh, paid shows, I sold them out. Yeah. Name another player took this route. Yeah. I stay church and I'm Andre Crouch. And the Porsche crouched over. Sipping sparkling water, the chick thought it was soda. Hood antics, but don't panic. I'm well traveled, familiar with the planet. Granted, it's single wood on mines, but I still like them Cabernet wines. Sauvignon, get my party on with more green than your front lawn. You don't like me, you want static. You playing Russian roulette with an automatic. Committing suicide. I committed to the suicide doors. Change the entry for the whores. Watch your head while I watch my fit. Pigeon so up. Keep watching my bread. I'm in the class all by myself. I'm in the S class by myself. <laughs> no characters, no passengers trying to touch the window. That's with the tent for. Potpourri on the floor, take off your shoes. Only the 550 allowed to have shoes. Yeah, so she thought it was a French Nintendo, right? You know the Wii, right? Okay, so, you know, I just want to know if anybody out there want to see me in this Guitar Hero. Yeah, you know, they the numbers just stop turning. I, my, my, my score be so high. I don't miss a beat. And it's always on the hardest level, too. Check it out. <laughs> I know y'all mad, but check this out. You can ride around town with an ice cube frown. If you want to, I'll tell you what you won't do. Disrespect, disconnect your head from your shoulders. Sit you in the stomach, leave you in free like Oprah. Leave your body smelling like old okra in the trunk of an old Nova W soldier. This is more than a verse. These is words that'll put you in a hearse and leave your body in the dirt. Nigga. This ain't gang bang rhetoric. This some shit you better get or end up like a derelict. No, homes, this shit ain't popping. Them four songs on my spot. Face the fuck up out of my face Internet rap, I'm on trial for an unregistered clapper You ain't even past my first chapter Punk ass punchlines I rap my life over red wine Smoothing out my hard times A young player with hard rhymes On the front line, unsigned but co-signed by the nine Demonic, Hinglewood City behind me G4 Freestyle, what up? Congratulations to the players <laughs> Yeah Inglewood City, y'all. Yeah. Damani. G4, what up? Guitar Hero, y'all. Y'all can't, can't mess with me, y'all. Serious business. I'm cold. Church. How I got turned on the freestyle and growing up in Inglewood is like, you know, I always start out like just, just in the streets. Like, you know, they used to have a club out here called Unity. And that's where everybody used to go and just, you know, pretty much it was just a whole bunch of ciphers around the club just going on at one time. And, you know what I'm saying, I used to just be a fly on the wall and I just started trying to hone my skills that way. Fast forward and I got on the radio out here and just started doing, winning all the battle shows. I won the Source Sound Lab, freestyling or whatever. There are a lot of important places to go and listen to uh, hip hop, you know, club wise or whatever in LA. You had The Good Life. You had Project Blow, you had Unity. Those are the three that I always heard of growing up or whatever. So, you know, to me, Unity, like, I just love, you know, going to watch, like, Smith & Wesson to Helter Skelter to Jay-Z first performing there in 96. Like, the Wu-Tang and everybody. So, like, it was like hip-hop 101 for me, Unity, like, you know what I'm saying? So, they helped shape the way I think about hip-hop today. N.W.A., it was very important to L.A. rap, gangster rap. Anytime you have the lyrics... And the, and the music being the correct soundtrack to, to the streets, then you gotta, it's gonna be classic. Like, you know, and that's what's hard to capture right now. It's like, it's so many things going on the streets today. You got the trendy dressing sneaker guys, which I love. You got the, um, the gangster rap guys. You got the flossy, whatever, whatever guys. You got all that. And it's like, there's, it's, there's no one dominant thing. You see what I'm saying? So it's like kind of weird now, but at the time, that was the streets. Like, the, the, the gangster life, that was the streets, and the music Dr. Dre came with pretty much was the soundtrack to the streets. We just don't have a soundtrack 
to what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? There's, everything is so diverse. We're just trying to find the right music to put to what we're talking about. We all talking about the right stuff. We just got to find the right music for that backdrop or whatever. But NWA, um, the reason why we haven't been able to let that go as far as like, you know, that's that, that music will never die because it, it fit perfect. It matched the time perfect. Anytime somebody come out and change the world, like that's just, that you got to... You got to really step back and come with something. I mean, there's a lot of people that came with stuff, you know, after that. But, you know, it was just so impactful. I just remember being a little kid, and I just don't remember people cursing on records, and they just shocked the world. I mean, they were saying stuff on records. You was just like, what? And we all knew who the dope man was, but to hear it on the record, we was like, hey, hold on. He talking about dudes that I see every day. Like, this is crazy. So it was just so direct, connect to the streets of L.A. It was just, it just, and it was the first time that you heard it that raw and then they was just exceptional rappers at the time too and the music was great and it was just harder you know what I'm saying it just it became the standard for us and that's why everything that followed you know what I'm saying kind of was like you know like a family tree spun off that you know what I'm saying